From the age of 11, I spent a considerable amount of my post-parochial school afternoons with a transistor radio strapped to the handlebars of my Schwinn bike. Listening to a daily half-hour radio program that dedicated itself to covers of musical comedy hits made by Paper Root, something to almost look forward to. Some of these shows were already familiar to me as my parents had recently presented me with the gift of a General Electric portable record player and four seminal original Broadway cast recordings from the mid-1960s. With this, I gained access to the small collection of LPs from those shows they'd seen during out-of-town tryouts in Boston, and I was particularly obsessed with the cover for one of them. Keen played to favorable reviews in Boston during its out-of-town tryout there. My parents both loved it. Unfortunately, it met with considerably less favor on Broadway and ultimately became legendary in the canon of noble musical flops. The album cover was a production still of the magnificent actor Alfred Drake as Edmund Keene, offering a rather terrifying, to, to me anyway, pose as Shakespeare's Othello. The identity crisis that comes from surrendering wholeheartedly to an actor's life is very apparent in Drake's brooding expression. The musical has a stunning score and an ambitious book by Peter Stone in his first bid authoring a musical. Quoting here from Wikipedia. In 1953, Stone saw a play by Jean-Paul Sartre called Keen, adapted from the play by Alexander Dumas based on the life of actor Edmund Keene. The Broadway singer and actor Alfred Drake was keen to make Keene into a musical, so much so that his agent, who was also Stone's agent, became the producer. And Stone signed on in December of 1960. Now, to say the least, this was indeed unusually adult subject matter for a musical, mixing the flourish and theatricality of Dumas with an actor's attempt to define his own existence. Subject matter keen to Sartre's existential philosophy. Well, I guess I was a pretty soulful kid. Even from that early age, with no conscious desire to choose a creative path, I was obsessed with questions prompted by the musical's stunning last moments. To this day, I still am. For this month, I'd like to offer up, for your pleasure, what is, in my opinion, one of the most moving final moments coming from any musical. It makes its articulate point in attempting to convey all of the self-doubt, self-discovery, elation, and occasional despair that inevitably play their parts in the lives of those who dedicate themselves to artistry. The most significant reason why actors must act may indeed be to survey why we are so endlessly incomprehensible to ourselves. Our not knowing is fathomless. It's what Sartre would maybe define as a kind of burdensome freedom. And so, we choose to embrace the questions and never rest with answers. Here's my wishing all of you a most creative and revelatory 2024. Give me your hands, if we be friends. Be well, and remain engaged. Bye-bye for now. Let those that play your clowns speak no more than is set down for them. Sweet Prince. Sweet Prince, what I did, I did in honor, led by the impartial conduct of my soul. Some are born great, some achieve greatness. Pardon me, sir, your bad entertainment. 
The play, I remember, pleased not the million. He's not apologizing. The scoundrel is making Shakespeare do it for him, line by line. Oh, my offense is rank. Uh, I would have put my knife into him. This was the most unkindest cut of all. All the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. But what's done cannot be undone. Alas, our frailty is the cause, not we. For such as we are made of, such we be. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. And on this stage, where we offenders now appear, I will give my thoughts no tongue. Tongues are as keen as is the razor's edge. Aye, but yet let us be keen. I don't think Yes, so. your highness, measure for measure, act two, scene one. Yes, let us be keen. To thine own self be true. Edmund was beloved, beloved, and ruined love when built anew. Grows fairer than at first, more strong, far greater. Give me your hands if we be friends. God give them wisdom that have it, and those that are fools. Let them use their talents. No, play out the play. No is an ending to confusion. Fate. Can no more my task conceal to deal in truth told through illusion? Othello, Hamlet. Richard. I know you create me. You alone make me real. Make. 